Okay, 30 second YouTube video. 1A Auto.com always makes nice, clean videos. And, um, you know, just from experience, it's, uh, it's just worth the time. 30 seconds, boom. 14 millimeter socket, breaker bar, which I'm, that's what I wish I had. And it goes towards the back of the car. Okay, so hook it on uh, up here and pull back. I'll take the tension off. So I'll try to get the right tool set up. Wrench black and wrench black and a seam, but I'm putting my 14 mil toward the radiator, breaker bar toward the radiator, and I need find a find a 12 point 14 millimeter 3 8 drive. Now, what kind of nonsense, what kind of nonsense do I have to go through? What you're supposed to do is double check that you don't have the 15 on there. You got to put the 14 on it. I'm going to have 14! I'm going to use this one. I got a 6 point. Let's see if I can make it happen with a 6 point. 14. I'd like to have a 12, but I got a 6 point. Check it out. It's right position. Down low towards the right here. Oh, I got good position now. Good position. Oh, oh, this is tensioner. Needs a tensioner. This is way too much. It's definitely a bad tensioner. Will you start taping back? This, this is stuck. This is stuck. I need a. Can you get a pipe? I need a 12 point. Man, you just won't do it. I ain't got you no light. I don't have no light. You refuse to get me up a 12 point. What you got? 14 you millimeters. You out here working with no light, brother. You know you just. You know, the Navy SEALs just quit. They just quit. They're like, it's dark outside. You know, it's rainy. They're like, it, it, it's just quit. No. It's, so they how you they get do the it? mission done. And it's, Can you, you know, we can't it? let them down by just sitting here and going, oh, we can't do it. Oh, we're going to do it. I'm just wanting to, uh, you know. Oh, no. Jeez. I guarantee it needs attention. Wow, holy smokes. So why don't you just cut the, um, if you cut the, what do you, if you cut this, it, 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 it'll tell you better what's going on? It's a little frayed, we might as well get it rid of it, but I still got to break this tension loose out of it. Um, you need three eighths breaker bar or a 12 point socket. Okay, well, let me just stop what I'm doing. Uh, I, don't, I, I don't know, Bill, Bill, stop it. You know I ain't got no light, I can't see it without no light. Uh, you know I would. Uh, yeah. 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 Here go, here go, break a bar. You want this one? Broke. This one broke. Are you serious? Oh man, this shit crazy. This is crazy, man. Okay, what are you doing now? I took the 30 seconds to find a 12 point. And I think it's gonna allow me to get this in the position I need. Maybe. Okay, you got it. Oh my gosh. That's absolutely locked. Oh my gosh. Why don't you pull it up to more and hit it with the wood cost here? Jeez, a piece. Pull it pull as straight as you can and try to. I had a real breaker bar, I can get it. And you put the pipe on it. Those wrists are bending. I can't just hold my hand straight. Let me get it a little bit. Okay. Let me know when you get it. Arthritis is kicking. Let me know when you get it. Okay. Oh, you got the bar right there on the side of you. Okay. All right. Put the bar on there. Now you're going to see what you got. Well, Just the tension is good. Tension is good. And we have saved the bout, I think. Come on, get off there. Pull it. 
Don't wreck it, just gently wiggle it. Going all this way. Can get the tap on. I'm gonna go back and refund it to break it. I might have to. Holy smokes. I need to take it off the small pulley. Come on. Now, I may do what we gotta do at this point. Took it off there. What the heck? What the heck? Kidding me? Ow! Are you kidding me right now? I'm buying a house. I can't go any further. I'm gonna take the. Oh, you gotta get me. Move the, the wrench back some more. This is the dumb part. This is the 30 second part. Are we in this 10 minutes now? Mm-hmm. No, more than so, that. That's not supposed to happen. Let's make it a slip better. I'm going to have to edit that video. Edit that video. I don't like it when people make it look real easy. Oh, it's just real easy. Quick. I want to show the struggle. The struggle is real. Uh, yeah, I got 30 years experience, but still, everything is a fight. And a car. Nothing's easy. Look at that play I got with okay, cheap now. tools. See what you get with cheap tools? This is the difference between cheap tools and good tools. See this? Breaker bar, a 12 inch, 12 point socket. Okay, you can save money getting cheap tools. This is what you get. You get in these problems, you get 10, 15 minutes in instead of having a nice tight. Now, don't get me started on snap on. I'll go on for about three hours. If you're a total pro, you can't mess around, the tool truck comes to you. A, put, put a, big, uh, put a little the, end on that bit, on that crowbar. But the problem is, uh, they finance. And so, Sometimes you have to do that starting out, but that's where people get deep, 30, 40, 50,000 dollars in tools because they're financed. They're good tools, but they're 10 times the other tool because they're financed, not because of the good tool. Part of it's because of the good tool, most of it's because it's financed. So for me, Harbor Freight is cost effective. If you're doing this every day, you need professional tools. You can't be getting hurt. You can't be stripping a customer's bolts and whatnot. Time is everything. So if you do it every day, you know, even if you have to pay a lot for tools, the cost is insignificant to the amount of work you're getting done. So, but for me, uh, my stuff gets stolen, ripped off faster than I can hang on to it. So it'd be pointless to buy expensive tools. They would just walk off. So where's my 14 half inch drive? But we just have to battle through certain little situations like this. It's 14. I'll go with the ratchet this time. Should pull this hose off. I may pull this hose out of the way, but let's try one more time. Okay. Now here's where I'm gonna edit the video where I like boom, and just put this on. Oh my gosh. I can't believe how much tension is on these things. But I'll show that just so people aren't surprised and think the same thing I thought at first for this, like, holy smokes. Lots of times you have frozen tensioners. It's a common issue. It's 06, 200,000 miles. My cameraman's not showing the nut. Piece of piece. My cameraman doing all right, but I, it's cold out here, and, and we're in a tornado situation here. 65, beautiful breeze. Yeah, I okay. got a light sweat going on. Yeah, well. It's easy. I haven't pulled off the big pull. You got to pull off the small pull. Yeah, well, just small pull is a lot easier. Oh, okay, I just reach where I can grab it at. That's, yeah, all right. that's what we screwed up last time. Okay. What's this pulling on this wire harness now? I'll leave that wrench there, forget about it, start the motor up. Still won't do anything bad. I'll leave it right there. Just grab the wrench, just grab it. Okay, accessories feel. What were we checking here? We're checking accessories. Whoa! Uh, Put it up here where you won't lose it. If you can get it out. Needs a tensioner. That's pretty stiff. 
needs a tensioner assembly, AC, clutch moves on the AC. And I can turn the whole thing, can I? Yes, clutch is good. What else we got back there? Nothing? We got a power steering pump, we got a tensioner, we got an alternator, we got an AC, we got a harmonic balancer. So now we'll go back to the harmonic balancer, but we already know that all these are free, so we're just in trouble. We're just in trouble. Let's see if it clicks on the starter, and then um, we got enough juice to power that up. That thing, that thing, that low, remember? No, it's good. Okay, but we need uh, uh, four fluid ounces of ATF with acetone, which we will substitute. Harmless WD-40. Going to hole, going to hole. You ain't in the hole. You just going on the outside. Yeah, we go. There we go. Well, spray it. Okay. You gonna do the back? I don't gonna do the back. I don't know. Should I have my straw? I know. I know. I know. I paid twelve ninety eight from Home Depot because I was crying like a bitch. And twelve ninety eight. Canada, I started you, saying stuff about Biden, Kamala, <laughs> inflation. Yeah, you just got out, didn't you? Shoot, WD-40 was uh, four or five bucks a can before a few years ago. It seems like this stuff should go down and should be more plentiful. I started using this as medicine for everybody to cure everything. Well, I'm thinking about one, two ounces. What do you think? Mm -hmm. You think one ounce, two ounce? You can picture a soda can is what, 16 ounces? Yeah. And so you can picture one ounce is enough to soak around those pistons. You need enough to get to the top of the piston ring. Um, so you can picture the pistons in there a little crooked like this. Cameraman's terrible. Man, I'm trying to show this. Okay, okay. It's like I don't know what he's doing. So pistons uh, crooked in the engine like this, and so if the water gets in there, it may go all the way to the top. Hopefully, it's just a little bit of water that goes to the bottom, and it's stuck at the bottom. So a little bit of WD-40 will soak to the bottom of the ring. So I think we're let me sit overnight. Let's see what we got going on here. It's not gonna be in the oil. I don't think. <clears throat> We're good. Yeah, we're good. Yeah, no water, no water. No water. And it looked like it's full of oil too. You gotta hope uh these push them set 10 W40 yes. around and so we can get out of there. Some WD forty? Yeah, well, yeah. They're just any engine oil, any kind of oil. Um, uh, where was I at? So We've freed all the accessories, we've taken the plugs out, we've verified we had water, a bunch of water coming out of the intake tube, so highly likely that she sucked in uh, water and hydrolocked this motor. It's just a question of, did it bend a rod? Did it jump the timing? Um, Is the I, tried to get in, I tried to get in from Intel from her, she said she was going 25. I can't imagine anyone going 25 into a huge lake. If you go in five mile an hour, go ahead, go five mile an hour, creep, creep, creep. You'll find out before you're getting, starts getting up to the bottom of your door sill. Stop, back up. Um, and I just, if you stall out, don't try to start it. Don't try, don't do nothing. I had your luck now. I got faith. So I had your luck the dune buggy out at the sand dunes. Mm -hmm. The Explorer, hard, hard. Well, I said, we're going for it. <laughs> we, we're going for it. We. I think Junior was there or something. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I sent it. And wham, I said, oh, we're going to have to tow it all the way home. It's bad news. Right there, side of the road, right in the sand. Did it, did it, Six plugs. Cranked it over. Water went flying everywhere. Boom, 15 minutes back. Rocking on the slopes. Tearing it up. So we I tried to break that Explorer Dune buggy so hard. I tried everything to break it, and I cannot break it. Love it. All you UTV guys spending twenty seven, thirty thousand dollars $30,000 plus financing costs for those things. Yeah, they're cool. But hey, I got 15, what I got, two grand in that thing. It's 1400 It's a tube chassis Explorer with 50,000 factory miles on it. 
salvage title I cut that well my man cut that body, body all the way off there put the tube chassis on it's 1400 pounds 11 12 13 1400 pounds lighter than stock you still got whatever that is 225 horsepower with a thousand pounds off oh so you're gonna let this sit overnight you're gonna try to start it now thing, the smart thing to do is let it sit but i mean if you don't break you don't break a loose jiggling back and forth you're not gonna break this. i think it jumped off on you too the camera oh no it didn't well, i'm running out of memory i know that all right let's get up out of this put some okay. of these tubes up but let's try to put this uh try to put some power on this uh oh so you're gonna try this uh, wrench down here okay we're going back to the harmonic balancer bolt i'm gonna turn it, turn it clockwise on the YouTube right now, whether it's clockwise or counterclockwise, and if some motors it doesn't hurt to turn backwards, some you can't turn them backwards at all, or you'll break stuff. So I'm going to YouTube, and I'll be right back. 